excited to share with you today a new challenge that I've given myself. This is a part of the Nappy Diaries Challenge of the Week, of course. And this week's challenge is single strand twist, aka coils. And as you can see, I have just washed, actually co-washed and detangled my hair. And um, I'm going to actually do another video on what I use to detangle my hair. I promise you're going to like it. But right now, I'm getting ready to show you my starting lineup of products that I'm going to use for my coils. And then, after that, I'm going to show you how to actually do a coil. And then, later on, show you how to do a coil out. Okay, so this is going to be a very informative video. All right, so here is my starting lineup of products. First of all, I just mentioned that I co-washed my hair. I use Zipporah Beauty's conditioner, and I love it. I'm going to do a separate video on Zipporah Beauty's products, but I also use Zipporah Beauty Citrus Delight Leave-In Conditioner. So I use that right after I co-washed my hair. I'm also going to use... Zipporah Beauty's Green Tea Hair and Body Butter. So I'm going to use this for oil and moisturization. And lastly, my good old trusty Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. Great stuff. Also, to make my coils, I'm going to use a rat tail comb. And as you can see, the teeth are pretty small, and there is a reason for that. And I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do right now is just part my hair, part a section. Actually, maybe I should take my glasses off, I don't know. Let's try it with the glasses. So I'm going to make a part, and I could use the comb, but usually I finger part, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And you want to make your part no bigger than this. And actually, this might be too big, so I'm going to... Divide it in half. Okay. And let's go with the front half of the section. And what you want to do right now is go ahead, take your shea butter or oil or whatever you're going to use as an oil for your hair. Put that on the section. And then take a little bit of your gel or whatever else you're going to use for hold and make sure you put a nice amount on there. Not too much, but enough to allow the comb to go through the hair pretty smoothly. You're going to want that because as you make the coils, you're going to use the comb to twist the coil. Okay? So what I'm going to do right now is just comb through it really quickly. And as you can see, even though the teeth are pretty thin, it's really easy to comb through. Okay? Alright, so here is the fun part. And actually, let me back up a little bit and share something with you about how to make coils. I've seen a few videos on YouTube on how to make coils, and people do them in different ways. So, you can finger coil. Okay, or you can use the rat tail comb like I'm going to do. You can use the tip of the rat tail comb to make the coil, or you can use the teeth and just comb and twist down. Okay, so why don't we do all three? Okay, so right now I'm going to use the teeth of the comb and then just go all the way down. I hope you all can really see this. Okay, Ooh. all right, so. As you can see, I have the hair in the comb like so. And I'm actually going to twist backwards. Okay. Actually, let me anchor it a little differently. Okay. See that? All right. So as you anchor it in there, make sure it's in there good too. And because my hair has product in it, and plus I'm trying to finagle it in the camera so I look crazy. Anyway, there we go. All right. So as you can see, as the comb is going down, whew, okay, this is why it's called a hair challenge, right? Because I'm definitely challenged right now. Okay, so as I'm going down, you bring the comb through and twist, okay? And twist all the way down, and there's your coil, okay? Can you all see that? There's coil number one. All right. 
So this time, let's use the tip of the rat tail comb. Okay, making my little section here. And depending on how precise you want your parts to be, go right ahead and part it with the comb. It's totally up to you. Um, I just like finger parting. That's just me. All right, so take your shea butter or your oil and then take your gel or whatever you're going to use to hold the hair or hold the style, rather. All right, so when you take the tip, it's really easy. Just pretend like it's a curling iron. You go all the way, as close as you can to the scalp. And, okay, so you wrap the hair around. And then after the hair is wrapped around, you get as close as you can to the scalp. Okay? Hope you all can see that. And once it's there, you just let it down. Okay. I really don't like this method. Well, there it is. You still get a coil. I don't really like that method because it doesn't get the coil as tight as I want it to be. So that's just me. All right. And then the last method, which is the finger coil, which honestly, is probably the easiest way and the fastest way to do it. So I'm making my part and putting my products on. And what I love about coils and coil outs, first of all, coils themselves, um, that style is a protective style. So it's great for that. Also, coil outs are very cute because you can have a banana curl type look or a straw set type look, depending on how small or how big you decide to make the coils. All right, so put on my products. And then you just take your hair like this, and that's it, and that's your coil. See that? That's your coil. All right, so three ways to make coils, and I'm going to go ahead and coil the rest of my hair. And I may even do these over, y'all, because they're kind of loose, but I will show you my end results in a little bit, and then later on, I will show you coil out. See you soon. Hey everybody. All right, really quickly, here are the results of my coil out. Okay? I like it. It didn't turn out quite as I thought it would. Uh, I was really hoping for a more straw set look, but I like this. It makes my coils and my curls look very defined, very moisturized. I really like the Zipporah Beauty uh, Hair and Body Green Tea Body Butter. Um, it's very moisturized because of that product, so I will definitely continue using that in the future uh, for other protective styles. But all in all, I think this is cute. As you can see, I kind of did like a faux hawk type style, um, which is actually, this is my first time trying the faux hawk. I guess maybe if I had to push it back, it would be technically a faux hawk, but I'm still going to call it a faux hawk. I like it. All in all, I think coils are a great protective style. I definitely plan to do this style again because next time I want a more defined straw set coil look. So I'm going to play around with that again and try to get that look the next time. But thank you all for joining me in this challenge and also a special shout out and recognition goes to Harrogant.com who was the sponsor of this particular challenge. So thanks to them and I can't wait to see your coil and coil out videos. Talk to you soon.